The Gold Scarab Talisman is an item that you can equip to gain 20% more runes from every enemy you defeat. Unfortunately, it's far from easy to find if you don't know where to look though. You'll have to make your way through the abandoned cave in Kaelid and defeat the Cleanrot Knight bosses in order to receive it. So this video will be showing you where to find the cave and how to defeat the bosses for the Gold Scarab Talisman. Before we go off and find the abandoned cave, there are a couple of things that you might want to pick up that's going to make this a lot easier. So the first thing is the Bloodhound Step Ash of War. This allows you to burst forwards at great speeds which will help prevent Scarlet Rot buildup. And then the second item is just a torch. So to get to the abandoned cave, we're going to start off at the Smouldering Wall Site of Grace in Kaelid. For reference on the map, the cave we're looking for is just east of this Site of Grace. So what you want to do is mount your horse and hug the wall on the left and head east. When you get to this point, you'll see these big black dogs on the right. Keep heading up here and make sure to avoid them. Keep hugging the wall and aim towards this tree on the cliff. From here, you're just going to hop down the cliff in front. Then keep going straight towards this tree with a dead black dog on. If you peek over the cliff face, you'll see a hard enemy waiting for you below. So instead, we want to jump down and head immediately left. Once you do this, you'll see a branch on the left poking out from the cliff. Carefully run across this and then use your double jump to land onto this cliff face here. And this is the entrance to the abandoned cave. So as soon as you enter, you'll be able to rest at a site of grace. Just beyond the site of grace as a drop into the cave. Make sure you're totally prepared to take on the cave before dropping down here, as you won't be able to fast travel back to this point. So these geysers on the left will inflict scarlet rot damage to your character so we're trying to get through them as quickly as possible. Hence why we picked up the Bloodhound Step Ash of War. To get through it as safely as possible, I recommend jumping down to this ledge here. Now you're going to wait for the geyser to finish the animation and then try and run straight through it. Use your Bloodhound Step to make sure you get to this island as quickly as possible. Here you can wait for the Scarlet Rot buildup to decrease. From this point you're going to head left and use your Bloodhound Step to burst through the Scarlet Rot. Wait for the Scarlet Rot to fade and then head down the path. Eventually you'll come to an opening where there'll be more geysers of Scarlet Rot below. But instead of heading down the path, you'll want to jump off the cliff to the right. Wait for the geysers to stop and then jump down here to the right. For this part, you'll want to pull out your torch. Simply walk down the path and there'll be enemies hiding in the darkness ahead. You can use your auto aim feature to lock onto these people before you can even see them. Once they're defeated, head through the passage behind them. Here you'll see two more rats guarding an item. So you can pick that up and head to the right. For this next part, you can put away your torch again because you'll need the Bloodhound Step. This is the last open area that you'll face before fighting the boss. So we're going to quickly try and traverse through it whilst taking as little damage as possible. To do this, hop down and start using your Bloodhound Step to the right. Go up this hill and there'll be two enemies that shoot poison damage at you. Try your best to dodge and continue down the path that leads to the right. At this point, you're pretty much safe and the boss will just be on the right here. So before you traverse the mist, make sure that you've got a decent summon ready because it's a 2v1 fight. When you first begin the battle, there'll only be one of them, so use this chance to get your summon in and get a few hits off. But this is the last thing you need to defeat before you get the gold scarab. So when you're ready, go ahead and traverse the mist. You'll want to let your summon try and take some of the aggro. But to be honest, these enemies won't be too hard to take out. And as you can see, once you defeat them, you'll be rewarded with the Gold Scarab. So as you all know, the Gold Scarab is a talisman that will increase the runes that you obtain from defeating enemies by 20%. So having this on at all times will be very useful for leveling up. So that was our guide showing you where to get the Gold Scarab talisman in Elden Ring. If this video helped you out, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you in the next video.